Hello guys, this is the tutorial that we're going to use Scription uh, in the uh, app sync uh, which is the service that the AWS provided for us so for now I'm going to create a new API so I will say uh, build from scratch and click start so the API name I will say uh, test 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 uh, app alright and we create it so for now we actually uh it's actually we have to go to the uh, data source on the left side there is a data source so before we created the data source i'm gonna go to dynamdb created a new table on the left side here is a table and i will say created table this table name i will say uh, test test graphql all right and this key i'll say it's gonna be test key and the second key uh no second key all right we create all right and now this is my uh, denim tv table so we go back to the app sync and create it the data source this data source i'll say uh dynam db uh test ql dynam db Test GraphQL. Item DB. All right, and the data source. I'm gonna choose data source type. I'm gonna choose Amazon DynamDB table. And the region. I'm gonna use US East one. And the table name. I will choose Test GraphQL. And and here is automatically generate GraphQL. All right, we open this. So uh, for this one, this is my key, but right here, I'm gonna uh, add some, uh, I'm actually gonna add some mm -hmm. items. So first item, I will say uh, test volume, test volume one, and it's gonna be a string type. And the second volume, test volume two. And this is gonna be type all right and and we go down uh, I'll just say create and now we uh, we can go back to the array so for now I'm gonna create it an actor and this actor I will say uh, test GraphQL all right and the first thing after the game play, it's gonna be oh no, it's uh, it's AWS App GraphQL API helper for the host. Uh, what am I gonna put is my uh, we go to the setting, and then here is the API URL. You can just copy, and we go back and paste it. But we're gonna delete something actually from the slash. Delete them, and after this slash, delete it. All right, and now we actually we're gonna put the API key. This is my API key. Copy. All right, and now actually what we're gonna do, and now we can scribe, scribe a uh, GraphQL scription. So we're gonna use the the header. So for the header, we can just uh, make uh, a empty array. And the kilo uh, paramount, we indeed need the kilo paramount. And the endpoint, the endpoint is going to be our API uh, URL. And actually, we're going to put a handler. So, we'll, what we're going to create it uh, for this. So, first of all, I'm going to create a new public class. This is going to be script, script chain handler. I will call this task GraphQL handler. All right. So actually, here's something that I do need to overwrite. First of all, receive a uh, receive data message. So I will use this function uh, for example. So after the description get 
uh, get its information, it will call this function. It will have this callback. All right, and so for now, I'm gonna construct construct object from class. So this class is gonna be test graph GraphQL handler, and the author is gonna be self. So I will use this handler to make a variable. I will say handler object. All right, and the handler we're gonna use this. And after the script, the GraphQL scription, we're gonna use our handler to connect. And after uh, the connect is not gonna be very quick, so I will delay uh, one second. And after the one second, I'm gonna test to see if the handle object is connected. So if it's connected, so and we're gonna uh, we're gonna use this uh, handle object, and here's a node we call send send start scription request, and here is uh, authorization. Uh, right here, app sync GraphQL API helper. We're gonna use this authentication, uh, authorization. All right, and now we can go back to the Firecamp. So I'm gonna create a project. This project name is gonna be Test GraphQL. Create, and here I'm gonna add request. This request is going to be GraphQL. So just test 01. Okay, and now for this URL, I'm going to use my API URL. And the header, no need a sept. And the volume is not going to be JSON, it's going to be GraphQL. The key x dash key API. So the volume is going to be the API key. So this is going to be x API key, not a, not a x a key API. All right, and now we click here. Now we click the uncreate uh, test GraphQL. All right. So we're gonna put them all. Truly, I think there's no need to put input, just like this. So I'm gonna copy to my area of work. Here is Kill. All right. And now we don't uh, we don't give any variable. We just leave it blank. For the ID, uh, I can just use, uh, for now, I'll just use a random ID. So here is like UID generator. So I'll just uh, generate a new UID and put it here. So actually, uh, we're going to do some changes. Here is the endpoint for the HTTPS. We're not going to need this. We need WSS. And here is app sync dash API. But actually, I'm going to put dash real time. All right. So for now, I will after the one second, I'll just print to see if it's successfully. Uh, so here I'll just print the message. Uh, if it's successful, create it, uh, subscribe this request. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna drag my task uh, GraphQL and uh, click play. Two. So, but basically nothing is gonna happen because uh, we didn't put, we didn't create it, the test GraphQL. 
So uh, first thing we're gonna go back to the handler. Uh, after I receive data message, I will just print string. I will print the data. Okay, and we're gonna click apply. It's true, connected, and we go back to Firecam. So I'm just gonna uncheck this. I'm just gonna delete this and click create it, test GraphQL. Let me just restart this this software. So here I'm gonna click create it, test GraphQL. So put all the items here. For the test key, I'll just say one, two, three. Test volume, I will say A, B, C. And test volume two, uh, D, E, F. All right, yeah. All right, so on the area side, I'm gonna click apply. And it returns true, it connected. And I'm gonna click this button. Now it print the data. And now actually we go back to DynamDB, if we, if we refresh this page, it has the volume. So let's change, the, change some volumes. Uh, on the test key, I will say uh, 79. And test volume 1, I will say uh, C. Alright, so this is my fire camp, and this is my Unreal Engine. So I'm going to click play. Which is true successfully, and I'm gonna go back to FireCamp and click this button. You see, it prints all the data.